Adding polynomials is a bit like adding numbers with lots of digits. You uh, start in the ones column and you add up all the num digits in the ones column, then you go to the tens column, and then the hundreds column, and the thousands column, and so on and so forth. But uh, in adding polynomials, it's just called collecting like terms, which is a little bit easier to do because you don't have to worry about carrying from one column to the next. So what you do, you uh, write down p of x which is in the blue there, in its own set of brackets, so you can see where it can start and finish. And you write down Q of X in its own set of brackets, so you can see where it starts and finishes. Then the next step, I've just uh, written it without any brackets. And then I've written each of the terms next to each other. So all the X to the sixth terms are next to each other, all the fifth terms, all the fourth terms, all the third terms, all the squared terms, all the plain X terms, and then the, then the numbers. Then you are factorizing. So what we're going to do here, you can see if we look at the fifth terms, for instance, you've got uh, 1x to the fifth. We might as well put the last step in as well. You've got 1x to the fifth from p of x, and you've got 2x to the fifth from q of x. You write them next to each other, then you factorize, and then you simplify. So the reason that I've done all these extra steps here is basically to help you not make mistakes. I find it's easier if your brain only does one thing at a time, rather than going from straight from the first step to the last step, which you might be able to do if you're just adding two of them, then it's good to just get the process in your brain. So basically you write the terms next to each other, you factorise and then you simplify. Now when you're subtracting, it's a very similar process, but uh, what, we, what I like to do is instead of trying to subtract off Q of X, I like to add the negative of Q of X. So over here we've got Q of X minus Q of X here, and in the next line we're adding the negative of Q of X. So you can see that uh, up here you're subtracting minus 2 and you get positive 2. Here you're subtracting positive 2 and you get negative 2. You're subtract, subtracting positive 2, you're adding negative 7. You're subtracting positive 5, you're adding negative 5. You're subtracting positive 10, you're adding negative 10. You're subtracting negative 8, you're adding positive 8. You're subtracting minus 4, so you're adding, sorry, subtracting positive 4, you are adding negative 4. And then after that, it's just the same, you just collect the like terms. So we'll look at all these steps written out. Uh, X to the sixth terms, you've got uh, positive two of them. X to, X to the fifth terms, you've got plus one and minus two, gives you minus one. Plus two and negative seven gives you minus five. Minus 3 and minus 5 gives you minus 8. Plus 7 minus 10 gives you negative 3. Minus 6 plus 8 gives you positive 2. Minus 1 minus 4 gives you minus 5.